get the whole story. Yeah. Hey. Patricia Wadeo is the CEO of the Matatu Owners Association. Welcome back to the Situation Room, Patricia. Uh, thank you very Good much. Good to have you here. Always. Karibu sana. Pleasure. Hey. Sasa, here. Matatus are often misunderstood. Or no, maybe they are not. Maybe what we see is actually what's there. You know, just see chaos. Unengia ku Matatu. Wanapiga makelele tawo. Hey! Are they ensuring that you understand what it is they are saying? It's for your sake, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you need to know where you're going. Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really? There are many, many matatus. Yeah. Now, how do you know that this matatu goes to where you're going and else they tell you? Kenyatta Gumo. Yes, exactly. Kenyatta Gumo. Yes. <laughs> what is. And all of them are screaming. In fact, if you're if ah. it's your first time in Nairobi, eh. you'll think they're saying Kenyatta Ngumu. Yeah. But then there are many matatus in Kenya, mm -hmm. all right? And they transport very many people on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And obviously, <coughs> that's a lot of money in the matatu sector. That's why we're, we have you here this morning to understand this. But before we welcome you, we are going to welcome you with some chai. You see this? This is Assis. Assis is the premium tea, Kenyan tea, grown in Olingroni, some 2,300 acres of tea plantation. Okisimama hivi, wangalie chai. Kenga left. Nyuma yako, chai. Chai, nyuma yako. Right, chai. chai. Left, chai. And then they pick that. They have their own factory. They uh, pick the best. They blend it. They make d different now flavors of tea. This is Assis Golden Tea. Okay? All of them premium. There is Assis uh, Hibiscus Flower, mm -hmm. right? Flavored. And there are very uh, many other teas. Very, very good tea. It's premium quality tea for local consumption, for export. City. Mm. But you am going to chai to for that. The father lipo chai. Oh, Sante. Napenda chai. Look at a bass, bass, bass. A little to fry. Mm. Mm. Wow, thank you. Mm. Wow. Tuesday was Sante. International Tea Day. Oh, was so it? So this is part of uh, celebrating the International Tea Day. Wow, thank you then. What to work with your chai? You know, Kenya is tea. Midnight yeah. tea. Eh. Chai. Midnight Midday. tea. Sit with your chai. Mm. Let's have tea. Mm. <laughs> what are you up to? Nothing. Oh, Nothing. Yeah. You know, that's so now that you've gotten some tea, City will also then give you the day's proverb. Yes. Mm -hmm. The proverb relates to a baboon. Mm. Uh, and of interest is there are five species of baboon. Allah. In mm. Liberia. Oh, sorry. No, no. Generally. Baboons okay. are at least scattered on the continent of Africa mm. and in around Arabia. Mm. There is the olive baboon, the yellow baboon. The Chakma baboon, <laughs> the Guinea baboon, and the sacred baboon. Olive is the most distinct. Sacred baboon? Yes, it's, it's a name that has been given to that particular oh, okay. baboon. Right. So when you say baboon, okay, don't just say baboon. Say which one? Baboon. Mm. Okay. When a baboon offers you a banana, imagine how many he has in his stomach. When a baboon offers you a banana, imagine how many he has in his stomach. Mm. Patricia, what do you think the Liberians are saying? The proverbs are from Liberia. He didn't say, this, the Republic <laughs> of Liberia. Yes. yes. Not that. When a baboon offers you a banana, yeah. imagine how many he has in his stomach. This is just an imagination. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. He must be having enough. Indeed. Mm -hmm. mm. Meshiba. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, so tafsir here. Tafsir. Mm. Na, na tafsir. Mm. The was, deeper meaning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, this is one of those situations where you can't be wrong because we want your opinion. How do you relate to this proverb? But I don't want to quantify. Salta, he must be having enough. Yes. Yeah. He must have. He must have had mm. too many. One too many. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. The uh, matatu industry. Might be insane. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 
not yeah. acting normal. Yes. They're not acting normal. Yeah. But baboons are known to grab things. Yes. Yeah. This time it's giving you. <laughs> yes. I see. It's an interesting uh, an interesting yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You told us the last time you were here that uh, the Matatu Owners Association uh, brings together very many members and these are those that have invested in this sector. Remind us again, how many members are you in the MOA? We are 480 uh, registered SACO. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a SACO to be registered under NTSA, mm -hmm. must have a minimum of 30 units. Mm -hmm. up to maybe a thousand plus mm. yeah so you can do your calculation the so numbers are immense the members are not individuals they are circles yeah they are circles okay. and limited companies i see yeah why it's a regulation okay can't answer that maybe ntsa should answer that so who joins the circle if i invest any in the willing Matatu? investor should join a circle mm -hmm. yeah and you join it has been made easy for you to become an investor. Mm. Yeah, so you don't need to worry uh, about the daily runnings and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Then I think let's start from that point. Um, Eric is interested in getting into the matatu industry, right? Yes. So what does Eric need to do? What does Eric need to know? Find your favorable circle. Mm -hmm. uh, depends with the route you want to apply. And uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to the circle management mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Buy the unit and you're good to go. But the, the circle must accept my membership. Yes, definitely. There is so, membership fee. So someone uh, invests in a vehicle, yeah. then they approach a circle yeah. and say, I'd like my Matatu to ply this route. Exactly. So I'd like to join this circle. Yeah. Now, once they have accepted your membership into the circle, yeah. then what? That's it. That's it. What? They you run start the, the operation. Yeah. Now it depends. If you want to run the Matatu, you can run the Matatu yourself. But most of the time, it's the circle that runs the Matatu. There is management fee that is paid depending with the circle you apply uh, from 500 up to 2,500 a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Management fee. So now it depends. Oh, okay. So that's interesting. So. Essentially, you would be giving the vehicle to the circle and yes. saying, look, yeah. I want to get something from this vehicle every month, yeah. but I can't be involved in the operations. Yes. So the circle would be responsible for what now? Having a driver, conductor, Absolutely. maintaining the vehicle, yes. and then at the end of the day, rather at the end of the month, handing you a paycheck? No, Is that how it works? It's a, it's a daily basis. It's a daily, every day they every pay you day, something. Every day, yes. Okay. By one, okay. you already know. How much? 1 p.m. You have 1 p.m., yes. Okay. Yeah. Your offload is ready. Okay. Yes. All right. So okay. the drivers, the conductors uh, are registered under various circles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Becomes very easy to monitor them. Okay. Yeah. So what about that option where you mentioned if you want to be the one running your own vehicle, but you're still a member of the circle, would you, what, what would be the difference between the two? So CT...